everybody, welcome back. I wanted to share a journal that I've created. Um, this has just been made for a friend, and I just wanted to, to do a quick video, you know, to, as a reminder my, to myself, and I thought it might be as, of interest to some of you. Um, this was um, made with a 6x9 envelope and then I did the faux leather um, technique and if if you're interested in that I did a video it's been quite a while back on some faux leather um, tags so you can just go back through my playlist and you can find that but this was some just some old trim I had and I did some tea dyeing on it and I love how it's come out um, I stitched this on the back and then right up here to the edge just ran it through one of the Tim Holtz metal pieces and I am just thrilled how that's come out. Um, and then this is a image from Seneca Pond. It's uh, one of her book cover um, collages and I love that. And behind I've taken some ticking fabric um, and then some more trim <coughs> lace that I had for the spine. I've sewn it in with a five stitch uh, pamphlet and then I've layered up more um, vintage lace and then obviously did a lot of machine stitching around here. Um, yeah you guys know I struggle with um, uh, letting go on the stitching but I do love how it's come out the randomness of it and yeah it's it's not easy for me because I tend to want to keep everything straight but I am really trying to push myself on um, you know varying my style because I have so many interests I I'm I really just love so many different styles as you guys know I think you can see that because my journals I hope are a nice mix I I don't want to be just one um, you know shabby chic or nature I, I'm trying to uh, branch out, and that's for my own personal uh, fulfillment. I need to dabble in different things, and and that just keeps me uh, really enthused about um, the journal making that way. Um, you guys have seen these. I wanted to include this because it's just a cute little um, notepad with various um, vintage pages I've, I've put in there and stitched that. Uh, I didn't overly embellish because, um, you know, I thought it would be nice just to have um, some really interesting pages. I'm hoping it's interesting um, to give, you know, when there's time um, to just sit and look through. I'm hoping that I've included some things that are um, that are just going to be interesting for her. Um, so here I put uh, one of my it's a big journal card. I backed this one with some coffee dye paper and then just various um, you know tags and um, stamped images that I've um, you know, cut out. Uh, here I've included one of the little collage pieces and, and one of the um, glassine bags with some stamped muslin. Just another little stamped um, little tuck spot. This is some of the Edith Holden. Um, this is another little tuck spot. I've just stapled those in just for some something a bit different. Um, this is some beautiful background paper from Seneca Pond. I love that. It's collaged and uh, it suited this. In fact, this was actually the inspiration for the whole journal, this page, when it printed out. Um, because you guys know I like um, vintage, but I don't like it to be particularly dark or grungy. And so this totally inspired the whole journal. Um, so thank you, Eileen, for that uh, page. It's lovely. Um, here, just um, some more collaging and a place to make a note. Um, Edith Holden book page in the 
hopes of spring up appearing soon. I know a lot of people are having brutal winters. We're not. <laughs> you guys know I'm bummed out about that. I'd love to see a blizzard come. Um, and then I wanted to put this. Now I didn't make this. I buy these from um, Fantastic Woman off of Etsy. And I just loved these little um, dresses. So I had some of the hanger paper clips. So I wanted to tuck that in. It's just something sweet. And these are just various journal pages. A um, little envelope here. One of my handmade uh, altered hairpin paper clip things. And then I've tried to just include, like I said, a real mix of some of the vintage book pages I've got. Because I'm getting... I've got a lot of books and uh, I need to start using more of the pages. But they don't always go with whatever style journal I'm working on. So I try to be really selective in, um, in what book pages I combine with journals. Um, this is another... of. Seneca Pond's uh, pages. I love these because she's done the detail along the edge to make it very, very old. Here's the tuck spot. Just, um, you know, I just tried to include various things from my stash. And here I've made a, um, this is uh, some tracing paper, and I've just made a little tag so that you can kind of see the girl behind tuck that in. This is another uh, garden page I recently got and I love that because it's just a sketch of one of our the English um, homes and then you've got the flowers standing out. I thought that was a really pretty page. Just a little old French receipt and this is another uh, floral book page. Yeah, I hope she'll like this. Uh, here, a little tuck spot. This is the center of the journal. Um, these are Seneca Pond images. And that I've just put some tiny buttons on there. I love that page. And then just various things. Another little journal spot. Another tag. And this is a stamped um, stamped image, some vintage lace. <clears throat> like I said, I didn't overly embellish it because I wanted it to be used for, you know, just taking notes or maybe clearing clearing her mind and and I didn't want the front to be too fussy because I'm hoping it'll be something that she'll feel comfortable just to throw in her bag and take with her. This is um just one of those uh I call them a Wendy tag because I attach the fabric and then I put a couple of little um, stamped tags here and it just uh, sits over the book page. Another little <clears throat> tuck spot here. A little fabric with vintage button, <clears throat> another pocket on this uh, music sheet pocket. I like making those double pockets in the journals. And then I've included one of the fabric um, postcards. Musk it around and make some more of those. I've uh, I've sold out of all of them. I just haven't had time to restock my shop. Um, here's some more collaging and just a little little pocket. I tuck some secret things in. And this is the back of that collaged page. I love that. I like the the. Um, the images that she's chosen, but I like the fact that it's not too too dark. Um, it, for me, it's it suits my style much more. And then here I've I've put in one of my collaged um, pockets and just various ephemera that I had. And then the back, I've just got a little pocket here and another one here that I made that out of some old ledger paper. 
Um, so like I said, I, I didn't want to make it too, too full. Um, I wanted it to be hopefully something, like I said, that wasn't too fussy that um, she will actually use. Because, <laughs> um, you know, it's not easy when you're starting out with journaling and if it's too fussy, it's not easy to write in. So I wanted this to just be something that hopefully she'll she'll get some use out of. But anyways, thank you guys so much for stopping by. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you've got any questions about what I did or um, where I've purchased anything that you've seen in the journal, just leave it in the comments below. I'll get back as soon as I can. I don't always see every comment, and I'm not sure why that is with YouTube, but every few weeks when I've got some extra time, I try to go back on the, you know, the last... Um, months worth of videos and see if there's any um, comments that need response so if, if I'm a little bit late I apologize for that but if you if you need to get a hold of me you can always contact me on my Etsy shop and I, I see those right away so anyways thank you guys so much I hope you're having a great weekend and I'll see you here soon bye